hopefully this microphone's working. It's been being a little weird. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Hey, dumpster drivers, and welcome back to a new episode of It's Easier to Film When There Aren't Always People in My House. <laughs> my house. I rent a room here. Also, today we are unboxing the new version of the Disney Store's live action Halle Bailey Ariel doll. It was sent to me by a fan who went to the park and got one for me while they were there. I super appreciate it. You know who you are. Thank you very much for sending me this. And oh boy, Sheila, look at this beaut. Look at her up close. So here's the front of the packaging up close. As you can see, she has a more updated tail, a fin. It does include a doll with nine accessories. So once again, we got her blue dress. I kind of wish we got a Disney store version of the pink dress. That would have been nice. But she does come with the flowers, some bracelets, the boots, a dingle hopper, a looking glass, a new bag, which will be fun to see, and a Sebastian figurine. And then on the side of the packaging, we got that 2D aerial artwork that I actually really love but it's in a different pose that we haven't seen before. At least I haven't, I don't know. And then the back of the packaging just kind of shows you everything that she comes with. There's activities inside. It's set up like a little scene, a vignette. There's all these cute little like live action aerial shadows in the background. And then you get to see the updated Prince Eric's castle. And then if we pull the back flap down, you can see the different kinds of activities that the packaging comes with. We have the find the shadow matching game the witch piece is missing matching game you can draw a very spooky looking flounder he kind of looks like when spongebob does a little bit too real close-ups i connect the dots with sebastian and then you get to also color a picture of ariel but now i think it's time to finally release her from a cardboard prison and see how she stacks up to the old disney store ariel dolls so first things first when we open up the front flap of ariel she is open and exposed there's no plastic or anything covering her inside of the cardboard which is good you know less plastic packaging and then you can see they kind of took like some b-roll stock images of some live action coral and just kind of put it all throughout and then if we look closely it's the same face sculpt and everything it just looks a little bit more demure here but yeah, we'll fully get her out of the packaging and take a better look. And here's how the two different packagings compare to each other. The newer live action Ariel versus the singing live action Ariel. Okay, and here she is outside of the packaging and then right next to the singing Ariel doll. Okay, so right off the bat, um, I'll tell you right now, this whole fin, tail, everything is so much cheaper. It feels very plasticky fabric, very papery fabric. The top's pretty much the exact same but the tail being more accurate, they did cheapen out a little bit more. And it's like the Mattel ones where it's only has the pattern on one side and it is held together with Velcro in the back for the bra and we have some elastic for the tail. And then there is a back fin as well. And we'll give you guys a little bit better look at that back fin. And then of course she still has poly hair. She does come with those three gold bracelets, but let's put her in her blue dress. Okay, so this is just the new body type. As you can see, it's different from the old one where her articulation in her knee is now bent and snap. She doesn't have ankle articulation. She can move in the wrists, elbows, shoulders, and pivot at the neck. And then here is Ariel in her human form in the blue dress and everything. And some of the differences I can see from the first one now to this new one is instead of the headscarf we get this flower for hair there is a layer of ruffles kind of missing here on the top and then this dress for some reason the underskirt is also in the exact same seam as the back of the skirt so those two are connected to each other where in this dress it was free and then the shoe sculpt is like the exact same there's no difference in between those let's look at some of those accessories also this is not flexible at all it was kind of hard to take off of her and it was a little scary because i thought it was going to rip or something and i think i finally found out what it, i feel like it's made out of it almost feels like it's made out of like kite material Or like soccer shorts or something so it did come with a live action sebastian who just looks like a creepy red spider to me this really cute little looking glass of course a dingle hopper and probably one of the coolest pieces in here it's the bag but it's actually made out of fabric it's not like weird plastic or anything it's just yeah super cute 
Okay, and there's Ariel all gussied up compared to the old one, so you guys can take one final look at them side by side. Sorry I don't have like one unboxed. A lot of my stuff is in storage right now while I still try to get like the new house and everything all figured out, but at least you can kind of imagine it, you know? Okay guys, so that's just kind of it. Um, sorry if this video is like quiet or like low energy. There's a shit ton of people in the house. It's because my roommate's cousin is going back home. He's been staying with us for the summer and so we're doing like a little send off and everything. But so many of you wanted me to unbox this and I wasn't really planning on it. But we're here. We're trying it out. I'm, I don't know. I'm really glad I got this. Thank you so much for getting her for me. You know who you are once again. Thank you. Things I like about it. The face sculpt, I don't know why it's working better this time. Don't ask me why. Updated body, everything like that. Obviously the accessories she comes with, that's fantastic. Love that, the bag, everything. Cool, the more updated fin. Um, things I don't really like is, like I said, the tail is just way cheaper. It's really hard to get on. The other one, it's vinyl, but at least it's like super mermaidy. And yeah, it'll start cracking in like 10 years, but that's like a problem for me in the future. The hair's fine, just the way it is. Like, it's a Disney Store live-action playline doll, you know? Like, the fact that we even got a second one is unprecedented, I think, at this point, right? Like, Disney hasn't really done that before. So it's kind of cool that Hallie got, like, a second shot with the, the packaging and everything, the activity packaging. That's really cool. But yeah, I like her. I think she's worth the money. Like, when she, she, she's going to start being available online. I've seen, like, the UK already has her online, and sometimes the UK gets stuff before us, and then it shows up on the American Disney store and everything. But yeah, so I love her very much. Thank you very much again. And I will see you guys in my next episode where you can hear people in the background shutting their bedroom doors. Bye. Also, I should try doing an episode where I'm not holding in a fart the whole time while I have cinematic mode on. Oh yeah, and here's how all three of the aerials stack up next to each other. We have the new one from the King Triton set, and she has to stand like that to stand up, because I'm running out of Kaiser stands.